Happy Japan opening, everyone. I'm so glad you found this video. You're in for a real surprise. I'm gonna share the best seven and a half new things to do in Tokyo. As you all know, Japan was closed for almost three years because of the COVID pandemic. During this time, several famous Tokyo locations suffered and even closed. Places like Shinjuku's Robot Restaurant, Akihabara's Mega Arcades, and Odaiba's famous Ferris Wheel and Gundam Cafe are just a few victims of this terrible pandemic. However, like a phoenix, Tokyo has had many new and amazing places rise from the ashes. A fresh take on what a robot cafe should be, a unique display of a aquatic art, and a mini Hogwarts for all the Harry Potter lovers out there are just a few of the great places that have recently opened. Of course, like any good Tokyo tour guide, I have visited dozens of new locations and filtered it down to the best seven and a half new things I found in Tokyo so far. This ranking will help prioritize what you should do if you don't have time to do it all. And if you're wondering what the half is, well stick around to the end and find out. All right, get your mental notepads ready and let's get to the list. Starting off with number seven, we have the world's largest gachapon location. The department store of Gachapon Ikebukuro. With an opening date of February 2021, this store is a great addition to the already famous Sunshine City Mall of Ikebukuro, which is already home to the famous Mega Pokemon Center. Getting here is simple. All you need to do is take a train on the Yamanote line to Ikebukuro Station, put Sunshine City Mall on Google Maps, and with a quick five minute walk, you're there. For any of you that don't know, Gachapon is a very popular game in Japan. Similar to a gumball machine in America, America, each gachapon machine has a variety of different toys and souvenirs inside. All you need to do is put your coins into the slot, turn the knob, and a gachapon capsule will be dispensed at random. The last thing you need to do is open the capsule and see what you got. The newest and largest gachapon store lives up to the title, housing over 3,000 different gachapon machines in one store. What makes this store so great is once you're done picking your favorite souvenirs from the gachapon machines, you can walk right over to the Mega Pokemon Center and pick your favorite Pokemon too. While we are already off to a strong start, there are six other places I've ranked higher on this list. Like this next place that's not only a really cool concept, but also super wholesome at the same time. Next up at number six, we have the Dawn Avatar Robot Cafe, which opened in June of 2021. The owner of the cafe, Ori Yoshifuji, came up with two very unique concepts that landed this cafe on this list. The first one is the obvious, but still really cool concept. You can get served by robots for the most part. Let me explain. When you first enter, you are immediately greeted by a robot host, which is voiced and operated by an employee remotely. In fact, every robot is voiced and operated by a different employee, but there's much more to it, which I'll get to in a bit. When you are seated, you are immediately greeted by a robot host that is stationed at the table, who you can chat with and have a good time. Your host gives you excellent service, showing you all the selections on the tablet provided, and even suggests what to order and any specials they're having. Once you complete your order, the cafe's mobile robot will bring the drinks and food straight to you. The food and drinks definitely don't disappoint, as it is just as good as their excellent service. But as if the restaurant wasn't already impressive, the main concept behind this place will certainly elevate your respect to the next level. If you go to the cafe's website and read their mission statement, you'll understand why all the servers are operating with robots instead of serving you in person. That's because the main goal of this restaurant is to give people with severe disabilities a chance to live an everyday life. As their company's mission states, their hope is to create a world where the disabled can intertwine naturally with able-bodied individuals. Now, if that isn't one of the most heartwarming business models behind a company, I don't know what is. Not only do they give you a unique experience of interacting with robot servers, but they also give people a chance who cannot normally work, a chance to live a life that might not have been available otherwise. So from the bottom of my heart, Ori Yoshifuji, thank you for giving these people an opportunity to do something that might have been nearly impossible otherwise. All right, enough with pulling at the heartstrings. Let's move on to the next exciting place on this list that I'm sure you can't wait to visit. Coming in at number five, we have the Harry Potter Cafe in store, which opened up July 8th 
2022. This unique Harry Potter town is a short three minute walk from Akasaka Station, which can be accessed by the Chiyoda Line. And trust me, you want to use the train station to get to Akasaka. Here's why. As soon as you get off the train station, you walk into a magical hallway that immediately gives you the feeling you're actually in the Harry Potter world. There is a massive red carpet, almost like it's welcoming you into the town, with a huge version of the Time Turner necklace Hermione used in the third book. Lined along the walls are paintings reminiscent of what you would see in Hogwarts Castle. And to complete the atmosphere, they have the iconic Harry Potter theme song playing throughout the station, which I can't play for copyright reasons, but I know you get the picture. After getting your fill of the town's entrance, a quick walk up the stairs and around the corner, and the Harry Potter Cafe immediately comes into view. Inside, you are able to order a variety of food and drinks from the Harry Potter world. I wish I could show some of these items firsthand, but unfortunately, you have to book almost a month in advance. So if you are interested, make sure you sign up online well in advance. All is not lost though. If you show up and didn't make a reservation, you can still order food and drinks to go. Another alternative is you could go to Tully's Coffee across the street. They have a partnership with the Harry Potter franchise and are serving Harry Potter themed drinks all the time. Besides the cafes, they have a Harry Potter store as well. And even though you have to make a reservation to get into the store like the cafe, you can usually reserve a spot on the same day or the next. Inside you can get different kinds of clothing from all the houses of Hogwarts, wands and goodies from Honeydukes, and a ton of other things from the Harry Potter world. Next up is a place that's just as famous, not because it comes from a book, but because of the amazing views and photos of Tokyo you can get here. Coming in at number 4 is Shibuya Scramble Square, one of the newest and coolest places to shop and admire Shibuya skyline. With construction being completed in late 2019, the majority of the world has not been able to see it in person. So when you visit Japan, it's definitely a place you don't want to miss. Inside, they have modernized upscale shopping floors if you have the cash for it, and they also have nice restaurants and a great tea shop to relax in. But the main attraction of this building is the rooftop, known as Shibuya Sky. To get to the top, you have to ascend an elevator that takes you 750 feet high. When you step out of the elevator, you are greeted by a dazzling entrance and a mystical escalator. Once you finally reach the rooftop, you are met with an amazing view of Tokyo's skyline on all four sides. This is a great place to relax, take in the views, and enjoy the breeze. As long as it's still warm out. What's great about this place is once you're done taking in the views, you can head to the bottom and continue your amazing night in the heart of Tokyo's nightlife, Shibuya. The past two places on this list, Shibuya Sky and Harry Potter Town, are extremely famous spots that are on everyone's to-do list. And for good reason. They are just as fun as they are popular. And you might be thinking, what could possibly be ranked higher than these. Well, I'm glad you asked, because it's time to get to the top three spots on this list. At number 3 is the Art Aquarium Museum in Ginza, with an opening date of May 3rd, 2022. This museum is hidden on the 9th and 8th floors within the Ginza Mitsukoshi building, which is directly connected to Ginza Station. And while this well-hidden aquarium could be easily missed, it is something you definitely need to see for yourself. This exhibit provides a really fun and artistic way to see an aquarium. As soon as you enter, you are immediately immersed in a dark and mysterious atmosphere that is lit up by a beautiful array of lamps that are arching over you. This beautiful introduction is immediately followed up with colorful rows of aquatic displays. Each room you walk into is a unique combination of colorful fish, lights, and reflections. I was absolutely amazed and never imagined it possible to display different species of goldfish in such a unique and stunning way. And with the creators of this museum being so artistic, it should be no surprise that they provide plenty of great opportunities to snap some great selfies or to get that perfect artistic picture to make your friends wish they were there too. As you approach the end and reach the gift store, don't forget to head down the hallway to the left so you can take a cool photo for a souvenir. For our next spot, not only does it have vibrant colors and a great atmosphere like this aquarium, but it also has a great selection of food and drinks too. Taking runner-up in this list is not only a great addition in Shinjuku, but also a new personal favorite of mine. With an opening date of October 24th, 2022, this place is known as Ryu no Miyako Ryoshu Kogai. Man, that's a real mouthful, but you can just call it Shinjuku Yokucho for sure. 
short. Don't know what a yokocho is? That's okay. Allow me to explain. A yokocho is loosely translated into what you would call a food hall. These places are famous for having dozens of mini restaurants and a variety of foods to choose from. And of course, with all that great food, you better believe they have dozens of great drinks to choose from too. All of this is then crammed into one or two floors of a small building. So you combine great food and drinks from dozens of mini restaurants that are crammed into a small space, and what do you get? One of the most high energy, fun filled spots you can go to in Tokyo. This place is a convenient five minute walk from Shinjuku Station itself. It gets even better. This place has 17 different restaurants to choose from and only two floors. They even have balconies on each floor to help squeeze in the 17 restaurants. Not only is the selection of food impressive, but the layout and design of the Yokocho is just as cool. There are so many vibrant lights and decorations that will catch your eye. And on the basement floor, they have designed it to make it look like you're eating in the middle of the streets. Returning to this place is a must, so you can come back and eventually try every restaurant this place has. Now that you've seen the runner-up, you must be thinking what could possibly be number one. Well, the top spot on this list has definitely earned it. But before we get there, let's talk about that point five that you've all been curious about. And for our point five or honorable mention, Shibuya's mind-blowing new toilet designs. You might think I'm crazy, but wait a minute, just let me explain first. Since the COVID pandemic began, Japan really wanted to show off how clean their public bathrooms are. So instead of putting up a sign that says, look how clean our bathrooms are, they went a step further. And that's with these hilariously cool transparent toilets. My mind was blown with their revolutionary design. You can clearly see inside the bathrooms and might be wondering, how the heck can they use these things without being seen? And this is where the magic happens. Once you step in and hit the lock button, like a flick of a light switch, everything on the outside is immediately blocked from view. And the same goes for the outside looking in. Once you're done doing the business, you simply hit the unlock button. And just as magically as you faded from view, with the flick of a button, you immediately become visible again. If you want to check this out for yourself, they are right outside Yoyogi Park, which I'll link in the description below. All right, on to the last item of our list. Coming in at number one is the brand new VR Red Tokyo Tower, which opened in April of 2022. If the name didn't already give it away, it is located on the third, fourth, and fifth floors of Tokyo Tower itself. There are several reasons why this place took number one on my list. For starters, for only 3,200 yen, you get access to three different floors of extremely fun and addicting VR games. And that's for the entire day, so you can enter and exit as you please. This all day pass gives you the ability to play all these games as much as you want. And it's a good thing, because not only is every game extremely fun, but also really easy to play with your friends, no matter how bad or good they are at video games. The third floor is all interactive or VR games that requires you to use your entire body to play. There are hilarious ones like this jump rope race and a unique rendition of Space Invaders, where your body is the spaceship and you have to dodge and defend yourself from the invading aliens. Or if you're brave enough, you can do a VR horror house where you have to literally, well, virtually, walk your way through a haunted house to find all the clues. I didn't do this one because the line was super long. Yeah, you can see that long line, right? Anyways, on the fourth floor, they have dozens of VR sports games. Here you can pit yourself against your friends in a match of soccer, rock climbing ping pong, a jumping contest, and even a golf range? There were so many other games to choose from, but we were running out of time so we had to move on to the last floor. But don't worry, a return trip is already on the books. And finally on the fifth floor, no VR gaming center is complete without the full driving simulation games. These are full driving setups where you can race against your friends to see who's the best driver or to see who's the best at ramming people off the road. And if you're getting hungry, don't worry. They have a cafeteria on the top floor so you can recharge and get back to beating your friends in all these great games. The best part about this place is once you're done or need to take a break, you can go shopping around Tokyo Tower's several stores or even take a ride to the top and catch a great view of the city. So you can see, this place has definitely earned its spot at number one. The great price, unlimited replay value, the endless games to choose from, and everything else you can just do here definitely makes it the best new spot to visit in Tokyo. Let me know what you think about this list in the comments below. If you want to see more things to do in Tokyo, click here. If you want to see everything you need to know to prepare for Japan, click here. Alright, well until next time, I'll see you then.